Hello, and in this video, I'm going to teach you about radians. So what are radians? Radians are just another way to measure angles, like we have degrees. To understand radians, we're going to need to draw a diagram. This diagram is going to be a circle with a radius r. We're going to have another radius. And then the arc that's created right here we're going to see it as length s. So using this information, we're going to find how many radians are in this angle right here. To find how many radians are in that angle, we take the subtended arc, which is this arc. As you can see, it's created by the two lines that create this angle. So we're going to take the length of the subtended arc, s, and divide it by the length of the radius, r. So the length, so the measure of this angle right here is S over R radians, or rad. So how do we get an angle of one radian? To do that, the subtended arc would have to have a length of R, the same as the radius, in which case our angle would be one radian. Now we're gonna answer one final question in this video, which is how many radians are in an entire circle? So let's draw another diagram. We're going to have our circle and our radius r again, r. And we want to find how many radians are in the entire circle. So we're going to find how many, so we want to find how many radians are in this angle right here. Well, what is the length of the subtended arc? In this case, the subtended arc is the entire circumference of the circle, which is just two pi r. So we're going to have 2 pi r over r radians, which is just 2 pi radians. We also know that this angle is 360 degrees. So 2 pi radians are equal to 360 degrees.